Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. As Pikeville Medical Center continues to grow, so does the number of patients and employees crossing the intersection in front of the hospital. State officials and members of our community met at Pikeville Medical Center's second floor atrium to unveil a plan to accommodate those who plan on crossing Bypass Road. So today's announcement was a funding announcement to actually fund the city of Pikeville as the municipal entity, uh, a project that will construct a underground tunnel uh, on the bypass road, which is a state road for a nonprofit uh, hospital. So again, keeping not only our employee safety at, at uh, heart, but also we have many patients and many services on the Riverfield. So our outpatient therapy, our primary care, our lab services, our, our pharmacy services are all located on the Riverfield as well. So patients are forced to make a decision. They either can cross the, the uh, crosswalk or they can park and, and, and come through another means of transportation. So having a tunnel constructed at the low point of our property allows backup water, another access point to leave the property and actually go to the ravine or the culvert that was designed to carry the water towards the bowl pond. So it also addresses flood protection on behalf of a multi-million dollar organization. We're very hopeful that by the middle of next year uh, that this new tunnel, safety tunnel, uh, will actually be available for our wonderful many patients and our employees to be able to use. Governor Matt Bevan was in attendance to discuss the amount of discretionary dollars being brought back into the community with these transportation upgrades. Yeah, this is $575,000 of, of discretionary road dollars. The governor has the opportunity to decide where these dollars go, but I don't choose it based on what I want. I say, where's the demand? Who in what communities makes the greatest case for the investment of these taxpayer monies? Because it's taxpayer dollars, it's not the governor's dollars. It may be the governor's discretionary road fund, but it's taxpayer money. And I want the taxpayers to tell us where we can get the best investment. And this was a project that was overwhelmingly rose to the top. Being in a small town where you had to drive about 20 miles to get to a hospital that wasn't even nearly what this hospital is, knowing what that meant to the rural community I lived in, years later, dating my wife at the time, 30 years ago now, when she was a labor and delivery nurse in a rural hospital, and seeing once again now as an adult from a different perspective, how impactful that was in a community. All these things are things that have informed me. They're things that help me understand how critical Pikeville Medical Center is to Pike County, and frankly to all the surrounding counties in this state and frankly in states nearby. This is an amazing medical gem that we are blessed with here in Eastern Kentucky.